We all know that summer is coming up, and some people will be experiencing sooner than others. So, what does that have to do with this video? Well, over the last two summers, the PLC development team have been releasing some massive updates. Starting with 2020, PLC updated the tool store and gun shop, updated the police vehicles, and as well increased the map size by 40%, which is the current map we have in game to this day. In 2021, PLC made the game free, updating many buildings, including the long-needed hospital and gas station, added civilian jobs, and tons more. So, that leaves us with this year. Well, in today's video, we're going to be looking at all of those questions, and we're also going to be looking at some of your theories and my theories about this summer's update. As I stated, ERC does some big summer updates. Every single year, they pretty much do a big summer update. 2020, the update was kind of closer to September, but it was still classified as a summer update. This year, there are many, many theories and speculations going around that ERC will be updating their map. The ERC map has not been updated in two years, or just under two years now. Basically meaning a lot of people are thinking that it's time for a nice revamp or, you know, just a couple changes in the map. A bit of an expansion would be nice for some role playing. Now, I believe that this is 100% possible. Uh, you know, there's no reason why the URC developers wouldn't extend the map. And I think it's honestly a great idea. Uh, I think, you know, for roleplay purposes, as making content on ERC pretty much every day, I think a map update would be amazing. I can do more roleplays. Uh, if there are more Easter eggs in the map, it would be really cool to do kind of videos on that. But yeah, in my opinion, an updated map would probably be the best outcome we could have asked for for this summer's update. Now, considering other things, people have said stuff like jobs, uh, new civilian jobs, you know, such as construction or, or jobs like private security or stuff. Some really weird and wacky jobs, but I think it is a possibility that we could have more jobs in ERC. And again, it would be amazing to have some new jobs in ERC. Now heading over, I do follow the developers' actions pretty closely here. You can see, okay, well, Sean was in the testing game and has been in the testing game on and off over the last couple of days. As you can see at the time of recording this, Mr. Fergie is as well in Roblox Studio. Also something interesting I want to show you here. We have this new group that has popped up pretty recently and it is called the ERC Developers. Now this group consists of uh, five people at the moment. So Kuro, this is, or I believe that's uh, how I say it, sorry. Uh, this is the vehicle modeler and I think these two are both modelers. I believe so, anyways. Infectolite, I believe, does ELS and liveries. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's as far as I can remember. Then Jean D does all the scripting and Mr. Fergie, I believe, does also the map and UIs and that sort of stuff and kind of general ERC management. But yeah, this group was only made in the last couple of weeks, so that's quite interesting as well. Maybe they're thinking of hiring new developers over the summer to help with updates. Who knows, but uh, yeah, just a cool thing I wanted to show you. So last year, the summer update came out on the 25th of June, which at the time of recording this is only two to three weeks away, which is actually not that long. Now, the American holiday, as far as I'm aware, starts earlier than the European holiday, starting, you know, some people could be on holiday now, as far as I'm aware. Basically meaning that to maximize their players and everything, uh, ERC is going to want to kind of post the update middle of the two holidays or kind of between the two holidays so you can get kind of both audiences. Therefore, I believe the update will be uh, similar to last year's update, maybe two to three weeks away. And I think that would be amazing. Like honestly, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be getting uh, leaks and teasers soon because last year uh, over the two or three or I think it was the two to one weeks before the update, we were getting uh, semi-daily teasers for the update which was amazing amazing to do content on and everything like that it was really great so I really do hope ERC goes down that same route of kind of releasing teasers uh, to tease the update because that honestly would be amazing and I'd absolutely love to see ERC do something along the lines of that now talking about what the update is there has been lots of speculation that the update is going to be a map update there's been lots of speculation that ERC is going to be adding uh, what is it garbage trucks and stuff and uh apartments in the city and basically there is a ton of things ERC could be adding and we honestly don't know too much on what it is yet. Now before we go into what my community said about the update I'd like to see what everyone here has to say. So please go ahead all you need to do head down to the comments below and comment your idea. Whatever it is whether it's a map update whether it's something else whether it's something you theorize anything you believe that will be coming this summer or you'd like to see this summer feel free to go ahead and comment it 
below. I'd really love to see what you all have to say about this, and I uh, will be reading the comments below very, very soon. Let's head over to my community and see what they said about this. My Discord, I opened this channel called Eurocy Summer, and basically people can leave their suggestions and uh, ideas, and you can already see a lot of map revamp updates here, map update, but let's just go and look through. Also, I did this quick poll in uploads here, and as you can see, 179 to 9. Uh, on thinking that URC will update this map this summer. So, a lot of people do believe that URC will be updating their map. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, heading back here, new, uh, new fire truck with a ladder and a bucket at the end. Honestly, a new fire vehicle is not out of the realms. ERC has been doing a bit of fire updates recently and have said before that they do want to update all the teams fairly and regularly. So it's not out of the realm of possibility, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. New DOT revamp. Yeah, I think something will be happening with the DOT station because the DOT station has not changed at all since it was added into the game. Um, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. So possibly seeing a DOT. I think DOT will see a revamp at some point, so we'll just have to wait and see. New RP jobs, I definitely agree with that. So new RP jobs could be in the realm of coming soon because last RP job, as far as I remember, was the news job. I may be wrong about that. No, it was the bank worker, right? I think it was the bank job. Yeah, I think so. Bin man civilian job, so there you go. There's a civilian job idea. County jail revamp, yes. I do believe there will be a jail revamp very, very soon because the jail has not been updated at all since the beginning of the game. So a lot of players have been saying it does deserve a revamp. And I totally agree. I think your C prison will deserve a revamp. So yeah, uh, let's just wait and see, I guess. And my suggestions are as follows. Possible map update, new civilian jobs, updated UIs, and possibly updating buildings in the city. Not too unreasonable, but uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. New phone UI. Yeah, possibly. I think they'll be adding more to the phone. They may keep the phone the same, but maybe adding more to the phone. I do think so. Um, an ID card that would link to the CAD. I think that'd be a great idea. I'd love to see more, some more CAD updates because I use that in my open world roleplay server a lot. If you'd like to go and join, link is in the description. New ways to earn cash, mowing people's lawns. That's quite a unique idea. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd always love to see some more ways you can earn money and stuff. Also, at the top of my head, I'd love to see a proper criminal base. Like, after robbing the bank, instead of just getting the money, you have to deliver it back to a criminal base. I just thought of that, so yeah. Anyways, continue on. NPC car accident call outs. So, you add purpose to the chainsaw cutters and spreaders. I absolutely agree with that. I'd love to see something with that. Um, yeah, it's really easy. All the UC would have to do is kind of add a car, maybe with an interior, I'm not sure, but add a car that's broken down inside the road and we get to go and fix it. That, that's kind of cool, I guess. Waste management location, second fire department, new fast food location. So that's all coming in the map up state or the map expansion because we definitely really don't have space for another fire station at the moment, but yeah, I'd love to see that. Sheriff station revamp. I think the sheriff station, maybe if they expand it, maybe, I'm not sure, but something along the lines of a revamp would be pretty cool here. A shopping outlet revamp, said enough. Uh, okay then, so yeah, could be cool. Yeah, it would be actually cool if you could make custom shops here. Like for example, in private servers, all you'd need to do is like you could add up a, you could add a custom decal up here and then, you know, customize the interior or have a few set interiors you can just choose from. That'd be amazing for all players, because then there's like five or so, yeah, five roughly, five shops along here. You could fit five different custom shops in private service, that'd be amazing. Apartments inside the city, that would be pretty cool. I have said I'd love apartments, and I think, you know, it isn't out of the realm of possibility. Apartments could come. Uh, that's a nice picture of how an apartment would work. I think it would work similar to Jailbreak. Jailbreak has a good apartment system, as far as I can remember. So yeah. So, to conclude this video, I just wanted to talk about the summer update a bit and basically remind some of you who kind of forgot about it, I guess. But yeah, the summer update I expect will be out in the next month, probably near the later stages of the month, but I think it will be out within the next two to three weeks. And hopefully, hopefully we can get some teasers within the next week or so. I think that would be amazing. So, stay tuned. I will be releasing information on the update when it does come out. And if we do get any teasers, leaks, anything like that. Remember last year I stayed up to 2am to make teasers on the um, new Mercedes-Benz and stuff. So, that was really, really fun. I do appreciate everyone who watched the videos back then. And it was a really fun time to make content. So, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing loads of content on the coming summer. 
as I'll have a bit more time than I currently do anyways, and we'll be able to make some bigger, better videos. So, stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate this. Also, if you haven't already seen, go ahead and check out my clips channel. I upload daily clips from my community events, uh, behind the scenes recordings, SSUs, just some really fun, cool content. And, you know, it's extra content, so you may as well subscribe, I guess, if you do enjoy my content on this channel, and it's all kind of roleplay related. Also, so close to 5,000 subscribers, so if you do subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot and you can be in the first thousand subscribers of the channel that would be super super cool also uh subscribe to this channel for daily urc videos and i'll see you all in the summer update bye